Hinduism, we have millions of gods. And each god has a certain form. And through that form, they portray something about themselves. They make a statement about themselves. And with that statement, they make us transcend into the divine. For example, if you see Mahavishnu, a Hindu god, he has the most beautiful luxuries in the world. He has the most beautiful ornaments. He has emeralds, rubies, the best gold. He has Mahalakshmi, the Miss Universe, as his wife, just pressing his feet. And he shows through all this about how when you have the space of enlightenment, basically he's making a statement about the glory of enlightenment. That when you have the enlightenment itself, when you have the inner abundance, you can gain the best inner abundance and outer abundance in the world. For me, my most favorite God is Mahadeva, Shiva himself. Why? Because Mahadeva has a very interesting way that he portrays himself. If you see him, he's using the things that nobody wants to use. For example, he has basma ashes that nobody actually wants. He wears it all over his body. He uses rudrakshas, the seeds of a tree, very cheap. He does not use the best diamonds in the world or the best gold jewelry in the world. He uses something that nobody wants or wishes to have. He uses, he has friends, his companions are ghosts, and his vehicle is an old bull, which is really old, and probably does not travel very fast. And he sits in a graveyard, a place where nobody wants to sit, Nobody thinks of the graveyard as the most ideal spot to sit at all the time. But even with all that, he's just dancing next to me. There's a form of Shiva, it's called Nataraja. And in that form, it just shows him dancing, doing the unemployment, and just being next to him. What does this all say? He's, he's making a statement about himself. See, in our lives, we have uh, certain preconditions for us to be happy. I have to have a beautiful wife, I have to have a good house, I have to have a job, and you know, the job has to be this particular job. I have to have a TV so I can watch it all the time. We have so many preconditions for us to actually live happily. If anything goes wrong, for example, if a friend, instead of smiling, just gave us a frown, Probably our day is ruined. But for him, none of that is there. He's just in ecstasy no matter what. And he just shows that he's just bully not. It does not require much to make him happy because he himself is that space of bliss. Not just that, he makes a statement that even if we are in the most depressed space, like a graveyard, we're so dead like a graveyard. We are like ghosts with billions of patterns, incompletions, etc. Even with all that, he'll accept us as his companion if we just invoke him and invite him to be part of us. And there's a beautiful mantra, it's called Shivoham. Basically it says that let me, Aham, become you, Shiva, consciousness itself. Basically by meditating on him all the time, we transcend into him. Instead of always thinking about me, 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 my problems, we just dissolve into this space, thinking about that cosmic identity all the time. That's why if you see in Hinduism, we have millions of gods. In, in the modern day, all of us, there are so many celebrities and all of us have a favorite celebrity, a favorite singer, actor, blah, blah, blah. And we literally like idolize them. And we put pictures of them all over our house. Maybe that's probably our screensaver in our laptops. And we think about them all the time. We want to be like them, we try to get close like them, we try to talk like them, and just become like them. Just by thinking about them, meditating on them all the time, we become like them. In Hinduism, we do the same thing, except our, our attention is on gods. We have a favorite god, we call them Ishtadevatas. And we just 
idolize them, have a small idol, and think about them all the time. And just by that, we think about their form. And just by meditating all the time, we transcend into a space that's beyond form and formless. We transcend into the environment itself. It's a powerful technique to move into the space of environment. So this is why I love Shiva. And I love Thank you for watching. And if you are Hindu and have a favorite God, you believe why they are your favorite God in, your, in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. It's the end of the